Hello and welcome to another data filled video. In this video we are going to take a look at data for New York State. This will be a new weekly video that we will do post on either Saturdays or Sundays. And first off we're going to start off with the statewide level for cases and the most recent update there are 4,673 cases in New York State, 6.6 percent positivity rate and a seven day average is 6.9 percent. Taking a look at the statewide hospitalizations, there are 2,306 people in the hospital. Hospitalizations have been rising. And the most interesting aspect is on Friday, they actually rose by a good amount on Friday, which is very unusual. Taking a look at the past history here, you will notice it's been a very long time since hospitalizations rose on a Friday. You have to go all the way back into the middle to end of July since the last time that has happened and it is happening so we know that New York State is in another wave whether the cases show it or not it's being reflected in the hospitalizations we can see here the COVID admissions are going up in the hospital and we expect this to continue next week all right let's get into the region shall we first region we're going to look at is the capital region in the capital region of New York State it should come up here You'll see on the chart here, the capital region of the New York State on September 30th, 210 people tested positive. The positivity rate is 9.1%. So that is higher than the state average. And let's take a look at the capital region's hospitalizations. There are 123 people in the hospital. And the hospitalizations in the capital region are somewhat trending up. But not as fast as the statewide level. Let's continue to central New York. Here we are with central New York. You can see 274 people tested positive. Or excuse me. Yeah, 10. 225 people tested positive and 10.9% positivity rate for central New York. So this is an even higher positivity. And that's the seven day average. The daily is 10.1%. Let's take a look at central New York's hospitalization situation and see what's happening there. Here we are seeing a rapid rise in hospitalizations. As you can see, just a few weeks ago it was 72. Now it's up to 105, which for that region, that's uh, quite a few. But if we go all the way back to the spring, they were at 142. So it's not at the spring peak yet, but it is definitely working its way towards that. All right, next region that we're going to be looking at is the Finger Lakes. In the Finger Lakes region, on September 30th, 235 people tested positive, 8.5% positivity, 8.2% seven-day average. And hospitalizations in the Finger Lakes are currently at 230. So they're also rising steadily, not as fast as uh, the other region, but they are steadily rising. And if we go back to the beginning of September, you can see they were at 153. So that's a decent size increase. Next region is Long Island, New York. So now we're starting to get closer to New York City with this region. And in Long Island on September 30th, 797 people tested positive with a 7.6% positivity rating. So again, slightly lower than what we saw in the northern part of the state. And for hospitalizations in Long Island, we have 423 people in the hospital. Going back to the middle of September, that was at 352, so they are starting to rise in that area. The next region that we're going to look at is the Mid-Hudson Valley. And in the Mid-Hudson region, we have, let's see, in the Mid-Hudson region, we have 521 people test positive, 7.0% positivity. The seven-day average is 6.4%, so it is starting to go above the average, so it is uh, somewhat starting to rise in that area. Hospitalizations are definitely rising in the Mid-Hudson Valley. And it's up to 268 people hospitalized. If we go back to just a couple weeks ago, it was 219. So that's a decent size increase. And it's also not too far away from the spring peak, which was at 274. So we'll have to see if it passes that. I suspect it will. Up next, we have the Mohawk Valley region of New York State. And here we go, Mohawk Valley. If you look at this chart, Mohawk Valley is actually dropping a little bit for cases. 
But let's see about hospitalization. So first off, they have 134 people tested positive on September 30th. Seven-day positivity is 11.7%, which is well higher than the state average. And 8.8% was the daily positivity rate on the last update. And as you can see here, cases are dropping. The positivity is really high. What does that mean for hospitalizations? Whoa, this does not signal that things are dropping. We have hospitalizations. I mean, it's only 67 people, but uh, that is certainly rising over two weeks ago. It was 45 two weeks ago. Now it's up to 67. We'll have to see where this goes from here because it did rise before at the beginning of September at 68. Then it peaked and dropped. And this is not all that far from the spring peak, which is at which was at 70, or actually 71. So we'll see what happens here. It could drop again, or it could continue rising. Only time will tell. All right, the big one, New York City. And in New York City, we have, start off with the cases first. New York City is kind of flat to slightly rising. Uh, 2,030 people tested positive on September 30th. Remember, this is the highest populated region that we're going to look at. And seven-day average positivity is 5.3%. The daily positivity is 5.2%. So that is below the national average. All right, New York City hospitalizations. 844 people in the hospital in New York City. That is rising slightly. It was at 757 in the beginning of, or in the middle of September. Back in the middle of summer, it was at 1,369. And the peak in spring was 892. So it's not far off from the spring peak. It's still pretty far off from the summer peak. We'll have to see what happens. Next region is northern country. This is the most northern region of the state. And let's see what the cases are in the northern country, shall we? And wow. So it looks like we had a really high day back on September 28th, where the positivity was 12.7%, and then the average of 7 10.2 percent the 171 people positive the most recent one is much lower 92 people positive and the positivity was 8.6 percent and the seven day average positivity is now 10.6 percent what's going on with the hospitalizations oh yes indeed hospitalizations are rising there's of the last update it's up to 56 it did peak in the middle of the week at 63 but it was down 32 so it looks like here it kind of bounces around all over the place it reaches a certain point in July, then it dropped, then it reached a certain point end of August, then it dropped. So no clear, excuse me, no clear trend here in New York, in uh, the North Country. It looks like it bounces around a lot. It was more consistent back in spring. And probably if we went back further, it would be a little more consistent than this. So we can't really get a... Uh, general reading there. It's probably going to be the same with the southern tier. Southern tier usually behaves in the same matter. But let's take a look at the southern tier. Yeah, southern tier region is actually starting to drop a little bit, which does tend to happen sometimes. And southern tier, 156 people tested positive, 7.4% positivity. Seven-day average positivity is 8.5%. As you can see here, there's no real clear trend in the hospitalizations. But at the moment, if there was to be one, it's slightly dropping. It's at 73 people. It peaked back in the beginning of, or almost in the middle of September at 102, and right now it's dropping, which does coincide with the uh, cases. But what's really interesting is uh, it is above the summer peak, but it is not at the spring peak yet. All right, one more region, Western New York. And in Western New York, you will see that cases are currently relatively flat. 273 people tested positive in their most recent update. 11.3% positivity for the seven-day average, and the daily positivity was 11.4%. The hospitalizations in the western region are slowly rising, but eh, we'll, we'll call it steady at the moment. It was 144 to start this week. Now it's down to 117, and it looks like they're in one of the patterns where it's highest in the beginning of the reporting week, then drops later in the week. It is, however, currently higher than the summer peak, but it is nowhere near the peak of spring, which was 261. So it's, well, about 150 or so away from the spring peak. So it's got a long ways to go, and currently it's kind of flat, to trying to rise, 
no real clear trend here. We'll have to give it a couple more weeks to see where this region is going. All right, so that's your overall look at New York State. The statewide level, again, we'll go back to, is on the overall, it is rising, and you saw the statewide admissions is slowly starting to rise, even though on a statewide level, the cases do not reflect it. So we'll have to see what happens in the coming week, whether cases will start to reflect or not, but for the time being, hospitalizations in New York State are rising. Thanks for watching this video, and remember to hit the like and subscribe button down below, and stay safe, everyone.